Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's just me today because I want to talk about a drug that I've been taking the past couple of months and that's Accutane. Many of you might know Accutane, it has quite a bit of a reputation for being a, a very effective drug to basically treat a variety of different forms of acne, but also one that should be considered as a last resort because it has quite a few side effects and yeah, that's true, it does have quite a few side effects. Um, but I still think that in my case it's uh, it's worth a shot. So I've been basically having acne for a bit more than 10 years now I would say. It kind of started when I um, entered puberty so I think around the age of 14, 15 maybe and it was quite severe to begin with and I was really stupid enough to not really do a lot about it in the days. I just tried to um, like go the natural route and try like natural cosmetics and stuff and that uh, yeah that never really worked it never really got rid of it um, then later on um, when I started university basically so I was how old like 18 19 I g started going to dermatologists and uh, yeah tried things like tretinoin adapalene or epiduo which is a combination of adapalene and uh, benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide uh, topical antibiotics and that also never really got rid of it so my acne by that point was quite mild i would say but it never went away it, it always had like you know good days when my skin looked almost normal i guess um and days when you know i had like 15 new pimples overnight and at some point you just get really tired of it and um, now especially in the past couple of months I realized that acne is also not just a cosmetic concern but it's actually a medical condition. It's a chronic inflammatory disease that might lead to a lot of scarring and I do have scarring on my face now so yay, great. That's gonna take a while and a lot of money to get rid of I suppose. So here in the Netherlands um, I've also, they also again put me through a lot of different medications so I again had to try topical antibiotics, I again had to try oral antibiotics, uh, tretinoin again and yeah that also didn't really work. It, it reduced the acne by a bit but uh, it didn't get rid of it clearly. So now they finally decided to put me on Accutane um, which is something I kind of resented for a long time. Um, because of the bad reputation. But uh, now, here I am. I've been taking Accutane since January 19th, so for a bit more than two months now. And uh, as for effects, I'm not actually so sure if there have been any um, noticeable effects to speak of. I think my skin has kind of finally come out of the infamous purge, which is the phase uh, of, you know, acne worsening after you start a new kind of treatment that expedites cell turnover, which is exactly what uh, what Accutane does. Um, I've been on 40 milligrams uh, per day throughout the entire process and just if you're curious in the Netherlands it just comes in like these little packagings, uh, these little capsules, I'm taking twi two of them a day. And the purge was, um, I'm not so sure it was really bad because it just looked like my average it's not going so well with my skin month. Um, and as you can see it, I had kind of a few outbreaks around my cheeks, on my temples, and there's still a bit of redness left over from them, like just red bumps kind of all over that haven't properly healed. Um, but I haven't had really a new breakout for like a week and a half now, so I think I might be done with the purge, but for many people, since it's a medication you have to take for quite a while, in my case, my dermatologist thinks I will be on this for seven months, which is takes forever. Um, yeah, there might be another purge uh, coming up at some point in the future, so I'll let you know. So as for effects, I'm really not sure, but I know that I'm in this for the long run, so I also don't expect this to work, uh, you know, within four weeks or so. It's also not, a, it can be a miracle treatment, but it's not a miracle treatment in the sense of it gets rid of it within two weeks. The side effects have been quite numerous, and I thought that a lot of people were really kind of bullshitting online when they were talking about some of them, but no, they were really legit. So let's start with the one that probably everybody gets, which is dry skin. Accutane works by basically, well, almost completely stopping sebum production in the skin. Sebum is the thing that kind of, um, you know, the, the oiliness that also kind of gives the skin a bit of its 
nice feel and my skin is now like the Sahara Desert. It's really it's really really dry which is actually kind of enjoyable because i always used to be a bit on the oily side so now i'm kind of getting to experience the opposite side it's not like my skin just uh, you know it's like an oil slick by uh, by 4 p.m even though you know all the shininess that you see that's because of my sunscreen um it's not because of oil my skin is really really dry when i uh, when i touch it everywhere it's um, it's kind of been a strange experience and uh, because of all the dryness I've developed some eczema on my hands on my upper body um, but as soon as I started moisturizing those places and also applied some body lotion after showering every night it's it's been okay so with a good moisturizer I think for me the dry skin is manageable what has definitely been way more annoying than the dry skin are the dry lips like chapstick doesn't do anything for me anymore like just your regular chapstick it's gone within a second um, it feels like my you know like I have to put something on my lips every five to ten minutes because it gets incredibly uncomfortable and the only thing that I have found to really work is uh, either Vaseline but that it's re it's really difficult to apply because it has this really strange sticky texture I guess um, or Aquaphor, which is uh, made by Eucerin. It's kind of Vaseline mixed with uh, some other ingredients to make it a bit more nice to apply. And I went through like an entire 200 gram bottle of Aquaphor by now. So I'm now on my second bottle. Um, and that works quite fine. Um, I haven't had the, you know, like bloody lips that some people get, even though I've noticed in the past couple of days that my upper and my lower lip, like here and here, um, they've been getting quite dry even though I've applied so much aquaphor so I, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's uh, it's not gonna be I'm not gonna get the bloody lips dry eyes I've read this side effect a couple of times and I didn't really know what that meant but now I do what I do know what it means you I kind of have the feeling that there's something stuck in my eye all the time um, it kind of helps a bit if I apply eye drops but I really hate applying eye drops I really hate applying things to my eyes so I kind of just try to see it through but you know now also just working from home all the time um staring at the screen all the time it means that my eyes get really tired and really irritated by the end of the day and i sometimes get kind of a blurry vision because of all the dryness um yeah i haven't really found a way to i guess diminish those side effects except for applying the drops which i don't want to so i guess i'm kind of stuck with them for now but it's been um I, I would take this actually over struggling with acne for another five months. So I'm just like, okay, I just have to live with this one. Itchy scalp. This is this this I actually only had in my first week um, because Accutane works on your entire body. It cuts down uh, the oil production everywhere, so including on the scalp. So my hair is really dry. I only have to wash it like every two or three days, I guess. Uh, like actually with shampoo. Um, but then in you know. In the first week, it was so irritating. My, my, my scalp was so itchy. I felt like I had to scratch it all the time, um, which you're also not supposed to do. So um, I figured out I'm just going to try a anti-dandruff shampoo, so head and shoulders. That worked. Um, it got rid of it. And I also started using a fragrance-free conditioner um, that I use every day after, when I shower. And that also kind of, I guess, moisturizes the hair a bit. I don't know if that's what conditioner is supposed to do, but it feels like it. Um, and my hair is just getting very airy in general because there's no sebum. My, 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 it just doesn't get oily anymore. So I guess I could probably not wash my hair for a week and nobody would notice. Muscle and bone pain. Um, I didn't even know what bone pain was supposed to be, honestly. But uh, after a week or so, I really started to notice what people meant. I feel really old when I get out of bed, I guess. Um, it... It's, it's, it just feels more difficult to move, basically. And certainly in the first week when we were biking a lot, um, it got really difficult at some point to just, uh, you know, bike uphill. It felt like my everything was just hurting. It was like I, I, I went bouldering and I had like the worst muscle soreness. And it just felt like that 24-7. Um, it still kind of feels like it. It's very difficult for me to really exercise, which is why I kind of have stopped doing it, honestly because it's really painful, um, it, I just feel sore and tired all the time. If I lie like in bed uh, in like a strange position, if I sleep in a strange position, um, then when I wake up in the morning, like everything hurts. Um, and I read that omega-3 supplements are supposed to help. So I've been taking a vegan omega-3 supplement every day. 
I'm not sure if it's really helping, but I'm also thinking that it can't hurt to just take omega-3. So, um, yeah, also just a side effect I'm honestly willing to accept. And the thing is that we're on, we're in like, we've been in the second lockdown since, what, what, October or November now. So it's not really like we're going anywhere. So I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Because of all the dryness, the, the skin is quite a bit more sensitive. So cuts, bruises, everything takes, uh, takes a bit longer to heal. Um, I think this is also the reason why some of these pimples that you kind of see left over here, it's just red, like post-inflammatory erythema, I suppose. Um, they just take forever to heal. It never took this long to heal. When I scratch myself, uh, because the skin is dry and irritated, um, I can see the scratches for still like half a week to a week and usually they would disappear within a day or two. Um, so this has just been going quite a bit slower and yeah, I don't think there's really anything you can do about it. I think this is just part of how uh, how this drug actually works. So yeah, it's it's definitely annoying, but yeah, also nothing I can do about it. It's like with most of these side effects, there's nothing I think I can really do about them. While you're on Accutane and before starting Accutane, you have to get uh, blood work done. In my case, I had to get blood work done before I started the drug, then after uh, four weeks, and now before my next dermatologist appointment, which is in four weeks from now. Um, and between my first and my second blood work, my triglycerides have gone up, which is apparently quite common. Um, but according to my dermatologist, it's not really a cause. It's not no cause for alarm. It's nothing to be concerned about for now. My liver values are fine. It's just the triglycerides that um, have increased a bit. But that might also be because you're encouraged to take Accutane with uh, quite a bit of fat. Um, that's just, you know, Accutane binds to fat. It dissolves in fat because it's a form of vitamin A, essentially. So I've also been enjoying very high fat meals in the evening when I take my pills. So it might also be because of that, that my triglycerides have gone up. It might not be because of Accutane or it might be because of both. Who really knows, but it doesn't really seem to be uh, alarming for now. And the last one, which is definitely uh, an annoying one, is runny nose. I think this officially does not really count as a side effect of Accutane, at least I haven't read it in any official information, but I've read it on a lot of Reddit forums uh, that people have this side effect. Um, yeah, my nose is kind of running 24-7, um, I always have to have tissues by me to, um, yeah, just keep, just, you know, get all the mucus out. Um, it's especially bad if I have to wear a face mask, because then I guess all the heat and moisture just get tra gets trapped a bit and it just starts flowing. It's it's very it's very irritating and you know I also don't want to be in the supermarket and go like <coughs> all the time because that would definitely um, alarm people nowadays and I don't want to you know insinuate that I have COVID or anything because I I don't think I do. I think it's just a side effect. Um, so. I actually solve this by going out as infrequently as possible, meaning that we, well, we go shopping once a week now. Um, I don't, we don't really even go for walks anymore, also because we have an evening curfew and it's quite busy during the day, so it's like, uh, we don't really feel like it. But again, I guess since I'm at home most of the time, it's actually fine. I think if I were at the workplace now, so at the university, this would probably be way more annoying, um, but it's, yeah, it's, I'm, I've just, you know, with most of these side effects, I've just accepted them and uh, I think this is just what it takes. So this is it. Uh, the short version is um, uh, purging, not a lot of effects going on so far, I suppose, and uh, a load of side effects, which I will probably have for the remaining four months of, um, of taking Accutane. Four months? Five months. Oh shit, five months, yeah. Um, but I will keep you updated. I hope that uh, next time you see an Accutane update of mine, uh, my skin is gonna look a lot better. I think right now it's going like, it's going so-so. It's now just a lot of, yeah, a lot of post-inflammatory erythema uh, left over. Do let me know if you have uh, been on Accutane. Uh, I know that suddenly when you talk about Accutane, a lot of people have been on it or, or they know people who have been on it. So um, yeah, let me know and I hope to see you in a new in another video very soon. Bye bye.